I love about EFT is that the proof's in the pudding. When you're done tapping somebody and ask them to check in on the emotional intensity, it's usually much, much less. And frequently, it's, the, the emotional intensity is completely gone. The basis where they teach you in med school, and really the, the underlying belief of allopath, standard allopathic medicine, which is what your MD is taught, is that the body needs medications or surgery to heal itself. You know, in my own case, I got tired of giving medications, which would re just treat the symptoms, and didn't really address what I thought was the underlying problem. And EFT is one of the, really the few modalities, or only modality I know of, that's fast enough to use in a busy clinic, where I may just have a few minutes to spend with a patient. I think standard allopathic medicine in certain med schools may just be on the very, looking at the very tip of the iceberg and starting to realize that there's more to our bodies than just flesh and bone. They're starting to open up to the fact that we may have an energy system. Standard allopathic medicine is focused on the body basically being made of, you know, organic compounds. They attribute the vast majority of psychological and psychiatric problems to chemical imbalance in the brain. There very well may be a chemical imbalance in the brain, but the question is, what caused that? You know, if you look at a higher level of truth, what caused that chemical imbalance? Again, yeah, I think it's an, un an unresolved emotional issue that someone's dealing with. The body will tend to heal itself if, if energies are allowed to flow. The biggest thing that blocks that flow of energy is how emotional issues and past traumas are held in the body. Perhaps the people on the outside, they look at some of the things we do as, as miracles, and I'm not really a miracle worker at all, or, you know, it's just you get used to seeing patients have really miraculous healings from chronic problems once you go in, find underlying emotional issues or past traumas, and remove them with EFT. I've not seen any side effects at all with EFT. People have used EFT with their pets and with very young children, and, you know, I've, I've used it a number of times on people that were outright skeptics with it, and it still works. So, yeah, I, I don't think there's much of a placebo effect at all with EFT. I think the, re the types of results that it gets are just so, for so far beyond people's belief systems of what's possible that they just kind of write it off. Actually, that's what I think that happens much more frequently than just a skeptic, you know. I mean, there's people that, you know, their belief system says, this disease is not going to get better without taking medications for the rest of your life. And yet we can go in with EFT address the underlying emotional issues, and very frequently that disease is cured. They don't use the word cure very often in standard medicine in general, and so when these cures happen, I think people just mentally write it off. So I think, like I said, I mean, I think results should really be the ultimate standard by which we compare things, not vested interests, not sometimes, you know, financial interests, but just what's best for the patient. And EFT helps a lot of patients long term. Standard medicine really, really has a horrible track record with chronic pain. In my opinion, you know, with, with some of the chronic pain and chronic problems, there's almost always unresolved emotional issues that need to be dealt with. And I suggest to you that the best way to deal with those is using EFT. By definition, chronic means they can't get rid of it. I mean, they, you know, medication will give, standard medicine will give medications to control it, but they don't cure it. So, yeah, we, we see EFT cure cure medical conditions all the time. What we're used to seeing with EFT is long-term results. You know, those of us that are in it aren't into short-term results. If it's a short-term result, we feel like we haven't gotten to the root of the problem yet. So we're interested in, you know, the proof's in the pudding. We're interested in long-term results. I think anybody out there in the audience, if they're, if, they're, if they're willing to look at results and, you know, and just base their practices on that, that they really ought to consider looking at EFT because I'm telling you, it's the most clinically effective mind-body practice out there, hands down.